Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting video on next rays. Today we will discuss another important current research area which is the membrane desalination process. We are all aware of the fact that water is essential for all forms of life on earth. It sustains ecosystems, supports agriculture and ensures human health. It is a important slice in providing hydration, regulating body functions and enabling food productions. Moreover, water is vital for sanitation, hygiene and industrial processes. As a finite resource, we must conserve and protect it to secure a sustainable future. Water scarcity can lead to conflict and hinder economic development. Here, I will discuss the membrane desalination technique. One of the effective ways to tackle the needs of pure water is by utilizing the properties of membranes for use as a desalination unit. Desalination is a process of removing salt and other minerals from seawater or brackish water to produce fresh water suitable for various purposes including drinking, industrial use and irrigation. The primary goal of desalination is to address the water scarcity in regions where access to free water is limited. Membrane technology works on the basis of the pore size of the membranes. Here in the picture you can see that different size pollutants are removed using uh, different types of membranes. In general, nanofiltration and reverse osmosis membrane are used for the desalination techniques. In membrane desalination, specifically in the context of uh, reverse osmosis desalination, the following procedures occur. Pre-treatment, um, before water enters the RO system, it goes through pre-treatment to remove larger particles, sediments and other impurities. Pre-treatment helps protect the RO membrane from fouling and damages. I will discuss about the fouling in the latest slide. Then uh, coming to pressurization, the pre-treated saline water is then pressurized using a pump. This pressure is applied to overcome the natural osmotic pressure and force water molecules to pass through the semi-permeable RO membrane. Membrane separation, the pressurized saline water is introduced to the RO membrane, which is semi-permeable barrier with a very tiny pores, with very tiny pores. This uh, pores uh, allow only water molecules to pass through while blocking the larger dissolved salts, mm, ions and impurities. Desalination as uh, water molecules pass through the membrane, they leave behind the concentrated salts and other impurities forming uh, what is known as brine or reject stream. This uh, brine contains the uh, uh, removed salt and is uh, disturbed from the RO system. Freshwater collection on the other side of the membrane, the fresh water which has passed through is collected. This fresh water is now significantly reduced in salt content and is suitable for various purposes such as drinking, irrigation and industrial uses as I have discussed earlier. Then uh, post-treatment, after desalination, the fresh water might undergo post-treatment to adjust its pH or uh, maybe it need to remineralize it and ensure its quality meets the desired standards. Um, membrane fouling. Membrane fouling refers to the accumulation and deposition of unwanted substances on the surface or within the pores of membrane leading to reduced membrane performance and efficiency. Membrane fouling is a common challenge in various industrial processes where membranes are used for separation, filtration and purification purposes. To mitigate membrane fouling, various strategies are employed like pretreatment, uh, implementing uh, effective pretreatment processes such as coagulation, occlusion and uh, like uh, sedimentation and microfiltration can help remove larger particles and organic matter before they reach the membrane. Chemical cleaning. Periodic chemical cleaning use appropriate cleansing agents which can help remove fouling materials from the membrane surface. Different type of cleaning agents are used depending on the nature of fouling, organic, inorganic, bar fouling, etc. Backwashing. In certain membrane systems, backwashing is used to reverse the flow through the material, through the membrane, uh, dislodging uh, accumulated particles and materials. Membrane modifications. Surface modification and coatings can be applied to the membrane to reduce fouling by altering its uh, hydrophilicity, surface charge, and anti biofouling properties. Operational conditions, adjusting operational parameters such as flow rate, pressure and temperature can influence fouling behavior. Advanced monitoring, employing a sensors and monitoring system can help them detect early signs of fouling allowing for timely intervention. Membrane selection, choosing the appropriate membrane material, pore size and configuration for the specific application can affect fouling tendency. Despite these measures, uh, membrane fouling is a persistent challenge and ongoing research aimed to develop new membrane materials, designs and fouling resistant technologies to improve uh, membrane performance and prolong membrane life in various applications. 
the size and characteristics of membrane pores play a significant role in desalination process when using membrane based separation techniques such as reverse osmosis and nanofiltration a membrane desalination involves the removal of salt and impurities from water by allowing only water molecules to pass through while rejecting larger ions and molecules the size of membrane pores affect the selectivity efficiency and overall performance of the desalination process one of the most vital things that affects selectivity is the nature of the atoms present at the pores if the pore surroundings are electronegative in nature it would facilitate the rejection of cations like sodium and potassium whereas uh, if the pore is electropositive in nature it would help in the rejection of anions like chloride coming to another present research topic in desalination photothermal water evaporation which is a very interesting technique that use light absorbing materials to convert light energy particularly sunlight into heat energy this heat energy is then utilized to drive the evaporation of water separating it from impurities and contaminants and leaving them behind this process is particularly efficient due to the focused heating effects of the light abs absorbing material allowing for a higher evaporation rate compared to traditional solar evaporation i will surely try to upload a separate video on this topic of photothermal water evaporation this is some of the sources from which i have taken help you can go to google scholar and learn more about both desalination membranes and solar water evaporation thank you everyone for listening